and welcome to BRI Weekly Market Updates. I am Ajimoke Babati Lawal and I'm going to run you through last week's market performance. In the course of last week's trading session, the Nigerian equity market experienced a largely bearish performance as all indices under our purview closed in red week to date. The local boards closed at 49,475.42 points as against opening at 49,540.48 points as week to date declined by 44 basis points and month to date declined by 72 basis points. However, the year to date return of the market gained 15.8% or 1,580 basis points. The market capitalization closed at 26.7 trillion naira, shedding 118 billion naira. The market capitalization closed at 26.7 trillion naira, shedding 108 billion naira. And we attribute these losses to investor sellers in banking, consumer goods, and insurance sectors. Top gainers at the close of Friday's trading session were led by NEM, Academy, and Japo Gold. On the other hand, top losers were led by Regalins, Unity Bank, and Access Corp. For Friday's trading activities, the total volume and total value traded declined by 35.9% and 9.0% to close at 107.4 million units and 1.2 billion naira. FDNH, Denny Bank, and Access Corp led the value charts with 12.0 million units. 11.9 million units and 11.3 million units respectively. On the other hand, Zenith Bank, MTN Nigeria and GT Code led the value charts with 235.9 million naira, 133.4 million naira and 131.5 million naira respectively. Finally, on our VRI watch, we gathered from the latest Nigerian telecommunications sector data published on the Nigerian Communication Commission website that Glow overtook MCN as the most preferred network in the month of July 2022. Glow increased the subscriber base to 58.3 million in the month of July, up from 56.2 million, adding 2.1 million new subscribers. Meanwhile, MCN came in second with 392,440 new subscribers for the same month. According to the NCC website, Glow's outstanding performance can be attributed to the constant network upgrades and the expansion of 4G data coverage across cities in, in Nigeria. That's it for the weekly market updates. For more insights, please visit www.businessday.ng.